Hybrid electric vehicles, or simply hybrids, have become increasingly popular for car shoppers. These vehicles use a traditional internal combustion engine and innovative electric technology to power the car while emitting fewer carbon emissions. Here we'll explore some pros and cons of hybrids so you can decide if you're ready to purchase or lease one. First, let's make sure you know about the two kinds of hybrids, a traditional hybrid and a plug-in hybrid. Traditional hybrids like a Toyota Prius or a Ford Maverick pair a gas engine with at least one electric motor to provide propulsion. They have batteries with enough capacity to allow the car to run on electricity alone in very limited situations such as low speed crawling and coasting, but you don't have to plug the car in to charge that battery. How does it charge itself? Regenerative braking, which transfers kinetic energy when slowing down as electricity back into the battery, and using the engine as a generator. The engine can charge the battery whenever the juice starts to run low. You don't have to tell the car when to do that, it actually figures it out all by itself. Plug-in hybrids do all the same things just listed, but they have much bigger batteries on board that can allow the car to drive on electricity alone at higher speeds and longer distances. Only if you plug one in and charge it regularly will you be able to take advantage of the longer range. In America, you can find plug-in hybrids with as much as 51 miles of electric-only range. That's enough for most Americans to get to and from work without using a drop of gas. Run out? The gas engine kicks in to provide total driving range upwards of 600 miles in some cases. Plus, they don't take as long to charge as a full battery electric vehicle because these batteries are still much smaller than those. Now that we know the difference, let's focus on traditional hybrids. What are the pros? Fuel efficiency. Perhaps the most common reason drivers choose a hybrid vehicle is because they're exceptionally fuel efficient. The gas-powered engine and electric motor work in tandem, which boosts fuel economy and usually makes them more powerful compared to their gas-only counterparts. For example, the new Hyundai Santa Fe hybrid is literally a box on wheels, but it manages as much as 36 miles per gallon combined compared to the gas-only turbocharged model, which can only do 24 miles per gallon combined at best. Lower emissions. The US Department of Energy considers hybrids to be low emission vehicles. They produce fewer tailpipe pollutants than conventional gas-powered cars. Using less gasoline contributes to a reduced environmental impact and improved air quality. Regenerative braking. As mentioned earlier, hybrids typically use regenerative braking systems to convert the kinetic energy when slowing the car into electrical energy. This system works like a generator and pumps the recovered energy back to the hybrid's battery. This is not something that a gas-only car can do. Range. Hybrid drivers can enjoy traveling hundreds of miles before refilling their gas tank. Plus, there's no need to worry about finding a charger because as we already learned, traditional hybrid batteries are self-charging. What are the cons? The higher price tags. Hybrid vehicles generally have a higher MSRP than comparable gas-only cars. The gap is narrowing as newer technologies emerge, but hybrid versions of automakers' most popular models usually cost more upfront. Battery replacement costs. The battery powering a hybrid's electric motor is more expensive to replace than the familiar 12-volt battery found under the hood of a conventional vehicle. If the propulsion battery fails outside of warranty, which is uncommon, you're facing thousands of dollars for a hybrid battery replacement. Tires. The battery and electric motor make hybrids heavier than conventional vehicles of similar size. While you may not notice a significant difference in the handling and performance, hybrid cars require different and often more expensive tires to accommodate the load and offer reduced rolling resistance. Gas usage. Hybrids partially use their electric motor to operate and have excellent fuel efficiency, but still, gasoline is their primary fuel. And owners may experience reduced hybrid benefits on the highway and in cold temperatures. If you're interested in a zero emissions vehicle, you should consider a full battery electric car instead. If you're looking into a new hybrid vehicle, there has never been a better time to get one, as brands like Toyota are offering a plethora of options from Camrys to now even Land Cruisers. In those two cases, a hybrid powertrain is actually your only option now. If hybrids sound like a good fit for you, we've got the shopping tools you need to find one at autotrader.com.